All right, so let's talk about making the Carolina mop sauce. Uh, also, you can call it a barbecue sauce because you can actually uh, put it on your pulled pork when it's done, as you got it pulled, chopped, whatever. You can put it on top of that, which is phenomenal. The vinegar, the, uh, the acidity in that brings out a great flavor in the pork. And you can also use it to mop as you're going through the cooking process. So the uh, there's, a, there's tons of different recipes. I'm actually fine tuning uh, Baker's Barbecue Carolina Vinegar Sauce now. And uh, I just wanna kinda show you some of the ingredients going in it. You can Google and look at different recipes that are out there. And you can then fine tune that to your own liking. I mean, if you want it to be a little bit more tart, you can go a little heavier on the vinegar, et cetera. So the basic ingredients you're looking at for a Carolina uh, vinegar barbecue sauce is a little bit of ketchup, depending on what part of the state you're in. And you can go Google that as well, but I put a little bit of ketchup in it. A little bit of salt, just regular salt. Crushed red pepper, and also, of course, black pepper. Then you can use either, either apple cider vinegar uh, or distilled vinegar, just white vinegar, or you can actually mix them. You can, you can do a certain ratio of one and a certain ratio of the other. Then you will have a little bit of sugar as well. And when you get all that put together, you want to put that into just a saucepan, you know, bring it up to a, uh, a, a low boil, and then just let it slowly simmer out for maybe 10, 15 minutes, something like that. Just enough to kind of break up the spices, let it kind of dissolve into uh, the sauce itself. And then put that into a squeeze bottle, put it in your fridge, and let it sit for about 24 hours. And after 24 hours, you're good to go. So that's the basic ingredients uh, of a Carolina vinegar sauce. And then just play with it, I urge you to play with it. Kind of find your own taste that you like and uh, kind of fine tune your own recipe. So hopefully you'll go check out uh, some, some recipes on Google and kind of start playing with it yourself. So I'm gonna get mine mixed up. All right, so I'm not actually from North Carolina or South Carolina, but I do love Carolina barbecue. I love Carolina vinegar sauce, I grew up barbecue place in my hometown that has a vinegar barbecue sauce. That's their main uh, staple barbecue sauce. They put it on chopped pork, uh, put it into other things as well. So I just love, I love the vinegar based sauce. It's a game changer, especially on pulled pork. You, know, you can mop your ribs in it. You can mop your pork steaks in it as well. Uh, make sure you wait till you get a good bark on there before you do that. And uh, it's phenomenal. So like I said, I urge you to go ahead and Google but I will go ahead and try to search a good recipe for you as well and drop it in the description down below in the video. At least it'll give you a starting point that you can take, you can fine tune, uh, change up the ratios, however you want according to your, your liking. All right, so I've already put in my vinegar and also put in a little bit of water. Now I got a little bit of ketchup that's gonna go in. All right, I'm gonna put a little bit of sugar in. I'm gonna put in a little bit of uh, red crushed pepper. I'm not trying to hide anything, you guys, but this, I have been working on my own recipe. Got it written down, I got a couple of versions here. And so I'm going back and double checking to make sure I'm on the right track, so. All right. All right, so we've got 
We got our vinegar put in there. The upside a little white. We got some ketchup, we got some salt. We got some red pepper flakes. We got some pepper. We got some sugar and a little bit of ketchup. I think I already said ketchup. And a little bit, a little bit of uh, a little bit of water in there as well. So now we're gonna take it over here. We're gonna put it on the stove, bring it to a boil, and just let it simmer out for about 10 or 15 minutes. All right, so I've got my vinegar sauce here on my stove. I actually got the temp kicked up on high right now to bring this all up to a boil. It's gonna go ahead and kind of stir as it's coming up in temp and, uh, and let it come up to that boil. And like I said, then we'll back it off uh, and get it down to just a simmer. So we're starting to get a pretty little boil going here on this. Um, but I was gonna tell you too, like I said, I'm gonna, I'm gonna do this. I'm gonna make this as a, a marinade. For some of this is gonna be used for a marinade tonight. If you do this, and I'm sure you guys know this, but I just wanna say, obviously you gotta let this cool down uh, wait, you know, you gotta let it cool off before you pour it into your raw meat to marinate. So when I get done, I'll let this cool off the room temperature. I'll probably put it in the refrigerator for a pretty good while and let it really cool down uh, more to a chilled state. And uh, and then I'll put it in, uh, then I'll put the pork steaks in a Ziploc, a large Ziploc bag, and then pour this chilled uh, vinegar, uh, mop sauce, barbecue sauce, in over that to let it marinate overnight. Okay, so this has been simmering here for about 15 minutes. So I'm getting ready to remove it from the heat. I'm just gonna put it back here in the back of the stove, let it cool down to room temperature. And then from there, I'll put it into the fridge and let it chill uh, before I put it into the uh, Ziploc bags with the pork steaks, so. All right, so here's my pork steaks in here. I got them in a uh, large Ziploc bag, put both of them in there. Like I said, they're, they're two inch center cuts. So they're big, big pork steaks. And uh, I used about half of my, my uh, Carolina fi uh, vinegar barbecue sauce as a marinade. And the rest of that that's in there, I'll be using for a mop uh, tomorrow whenever I cook these pork steaks. So I'm gonna put these, the rest in the fridge. And then tomorrow, take them out and I'll shake them down in Baker's barbecue competition rub and put them on. Let these bad boys go for probably about seven hours over some cherry smoke in the uh, drum smoker.